Hello, and welcome to NHMLAC Connects. My name is Dan, and I'm an educator at the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. And although we can't be at the museum right now, we still want to share with you some of the amazing animals that can be found in our Discovery Center, in our new exhibit called Bugtopia. The insect we'd like to share with you today can be found in local backyards and gardens, but different varieties and species exist worldwide. Today, we're going to explore mantids. They're sometimes called praying mantis, because of the prayer-like position of their forelegs. But the word mantis comes from the Greek for prophet or seer. These cryptic carnivores are well known for disguising themselves, moving slowly and ambushing their food. Today, we're going to take a few looks at the ways that they do this. Mantids await their prey by hiding in plants and quickly grab them with their strong forelegs. They can feed on a variety of other arthropods, including crickets, grasshoppers, moths, and butterflies, but they're also known to eat lizards and birds. Mantids are a natural pest control, but they're also food for other animals as well. They even engage in cannibalism. For example, females are well known to eat males after mating. What blows my mind about mantids is their ability to hide in plain sight. Their main strategy is called crypsis, which is the ability to avoid detection. This involves many things, including swaying like a leaf or twig, moving slowly, or lying completely still. Colors, patterns, and shapes on their body help to camouflage with plants in their environment. One of the main mantids you might see in Vogtopia is the dead leaf mantis, which is a brown speckled color and a wrinkled textured body that makes it appear like a dead leaf. This is a form of specialized imitation called mimicry. You may also see the Chinese mantis in Vogtopia with its long body and powerful forelegs, which it uses to grab prey. The California mantis is a common native species to Los Angeles. They can be found in a variety of habitats in California, such as coastal sage scrub and chaparral vegetation, but you can see them in neighborhood gardens as well. You may also spot a mantis egg case called an utheca, hanging from a branch or a building. And in the springtime, hundreds of tiny mantis babies called nymphs emerge. As they grow through stages called instars, they shed their exoskeleton in a process called molting. Be sure to be on the lookout next time you're in your plants for a hidden surprise. But don't be scared, they'd rather avoid you. If you're interested in learning more about mantids in Los Angeles and other bugs too, you can check out Insects of the Los Angeles Basin. Thank you for watching!